Let's live out our wildest fantasies and run headlong into the jaws of death. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, we're making the long track up past all this mad bullshit to an evil wolf a box and some dynamite. So it's probably all going to go wrong. Um, I did check out there that I said I would. Nobody alive in there. Um, oh, I think there were some notes, come to think of it. Uh, not not that one, that one. Didn't think it was that. I think we read that last time. I really like how it, you know, resets me to the top of the page every time I back out of one of these. Um, nope. Conspiracy theories. Ah, uh, yes, the um, guy we found dead in the thing. The uh, unstable guy who was writing to... Uh, to be better. Um, we found another one of his. Um, the wolves are strange critters now. Something at Black Rock. Fuzzy around the edges. Dreaming of the sea. Th th there's nothing really uh, concrete to latch onto there. From what I can tell. Um, and he's dead now. So what does it matter how mentally ill he was? Please take that with the heavy dose of sarcasm that it has. Uh, prisoner release record. Uh, extensive evidence of both pre and post incarceration tra trauma, even. Inmate 5627. Spiral fractures of the humerus on both arms. Cervical ligament damage. So that's a woman, right? They have those. Is that right? Or is that something else? I wouldn't know. Radiology studies suggest multiples suggests multiples shoulder dislocations hmm. patient reports post concussion syndrome which is a headache I'd imagine no probably a bit more advanced than that recommend evaluation under compassionate release criteria see doodad jibba jibba wab psychological survey suggests very low risk of recidivism which is a great word um, so yeah my uh, first thoughts when reading this were is well again I don't know because the whole Jace Molly thing but if that is Jace that might be referring to Jace and like that's why she has beef with Donna because they were both inmates or something that's the only relevance I could think to attach to that um, what else oh yes one other thing um, it was subtle but just before the stream ended last time, um, I started going mad, or I thought I did, um, because I heard a weird yawning noise. I described it as a kind of yawn. Um, turns out I wasn't going mad. There was a moose over there. Um, and turns out they're like the new bears. Un I kind of thought moose would be a bit more friendly than bears, but no, that fucker charges at you like Dickens, who we've established is an athlete in this universe. Um, anyway, got him in the end. Unfortunately, uh, when I checked out the prepper's bunker, he had a moose hide satchel. Which is the only reason I tried attacking the moose, was to get that. But I, I found one anyway, so... Waste of my fucking time. Which is good. Speaking of wasting fucking time, that's what we've been doing, so let's get a shift on. Um, I assume it's not the only moose in the entire game. There may be more meese as we uh, go along. Hang on, did I forget the fucking... I, how many whiz bangs did I bring? That's not enough. Damn it. Yes, we have decked out this place quite well as a little um, home for ourselves. This is the, um, oh yeah, moose meat, as you can imagine. You get a lot. Even more than a bear, I think. This is my weapons box. Might have to drop some gear. Might have to shut the fuck up, Mackenzie. Really not in the mood. Um... 
so yes uh fuck i don't even know how many of those i took as long as it's a multiple of two then it's well i suppose it doesn't matter whatever anyway i also made some snares because there was a whole bunch of rabbits over there but before i got a chance to use them they were decimated by wolves and they haven't respawned which is another waste of my fucking time i'll tell you what has respawned though the bear that I killed. So, you can see why I'm in such a chipper mood today. Oh, hello Dev again. Che cheers, Steve. For, for what? Well, well, I haven't done anything yet. Okay, never mind. You're welcome. I guess. But yes, uh, today's jaunt will be full of um, death, probably. Am I even going the right direction? Yes. And we said there's Wedge Cave there. I, I don't think I've got much in the way of supplies there, but it's a place to stop off regardless, I guess. Right. One good thing we did find in the uh, prepper cavern. Um, we had a bunch more bullets. So we're doing a bit better on that front now. I'd, I'd like a few more on the rifle, but... Oh, uh, we found a whole other bow as well. So we've got five arrows now. Flares looking very grim it must be said but we have some actual flares and we have seven of these so we're as armored up as I think we could be okay I think we've actually bypassed the bear because the bear was there somewhere around there anyway so that's neat I think this is near where uh Not Wedge Cave. Oh. oh, hello. Is it one of you or several? No, it's many of you. Okie dokie. We doing this, boys? Right. Fuck you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready yet. Okay, go. Right, that's you lot fucked. Uh, there is a cave up there, is that Wedge Cave? I guess it is. I forget now, it's been a minute. Tucked away here. Sort of easy to see, but also not easy to see. If that makes sense, which it really sort of doesn't. Firewood. And nothing else. Well, that was worth the detour. Great. Um, I think we picked up some grub. Oh yeah, it's got some maple syrup. Very bad condition. We always find the maple syrup in very bad condition for some reason. It's like nobody can drink it or have it without becoming violently angry. Uh, let's have some moose first though before it goes off. Never had moose. I don't know what it must taste like. Are moose endangered? I don't know. I had elk when I went to Canada and it tasted just pretty much like beef to be honest. Which was a little disappointing. But then maybe my taste buds are fucked after years of super noodles and fizzy drinks. So don't consider me a culinary expert on 
anything. Yeah, you just keep whimpering and staying out of my way. Oh, what the fuck? How did we do that? We've flown past it. Okay, well maybe if we go round the back we'll catch him by surprise. Oh good, exactly what I wanted. Decreased visibility for fighting the overly aggressive wolf. Yes, this will go well. You know what, because <laughs> I don't want to do that trek again. Oh, we've run out of saves again, okay. That'll do. Okay. Don't know. Don't know what that was as a as a name for a thing. Never mind. Might need some of that, but I think we're good for antiseptic. I think we have some. We have lots. Okay. Saving. Search of the wolf's cave. Okay. If I really have to. Gonna be a wolf the size of a bear or something. Oh no, he's right there. Oh well, well if you're gonna make it easy for me. Yeah, okay. Fuck you. Oh. Uh I feel like that can't have been the wolf. Right? No road cave. Oh, there's still some left on him. Well, I uh Yeah, fuck it, why not? Because equip load, Steve. Yeah, well, too late now. Um Okay. Yeah, that that had to have just been a another wolf, I think. Otherwise, this is very anticlimactic. Great Bear Wolf Behavior Study. Notes from a person who has been studying the increased aggression of the wolves on Great Bear Island. A journal page, partially torn and soaked with blood, aren't they all? Mistake to come here. I can gather the rest of that. The staging report from the Black Rock admin was incomplete. Clearly, this animal has survived some deep trauma or starvation period to develop... Aberrant predatory behaviours to this degree. I'm going to recommend sedation, tagging and relocation in order to give it a fighting chance. Blackrock meant well in bringing me out here but I need to give them an option besides culling. It's a magnificent creature and worthy of study. There's an unusual growling sound coming from behind me as I write this. So, was that really it? That was the aggressive wolf? I mean, I know I got the first shot at him, but... I guess that's it then. Wow. Super anticlimactic. After everything I heard about Fluffy and everything, I was, I was expecting... I don't know if that was going to be fluffy or, you know, something. It's just an ordinary wolf. Oh, are you coming back? Maybe you are aggressive. Hello. Yes, you do seem pretty ordinary. Fuck off. Are you actually attacking me, or what is happening here? Oh, you are. Okay. That was confusing, weird, and not all that good for the drama. That feels unfair. And I've wasted a bunch of bullets now. Fuck's sake. I told you this go well. Is that everything? Yeah, more or less. Okay.
Damn it. I didn't find the fucking cash. I'm not going to be coming all this way again, so I might as well. It's not there. It's around here somewhere. I mean, at least our temperature is doing somewhat okay, but uh, I do fear this is going to rather ruin our clothing. This is a long and awkward way around. You know, I could get a flare out, but I don't think it's really going to do much. In fact, in this kind of wind, could that put a flare out? I don't know, flares are like chemicals and shit, aren't they? I, I don't know how flares work. Now, bollocks. Bollocks to you, how have I done that? <laughs> this isn't... Oh, okay, because the right direction is through the mountain. Well, give me a path of some kind then. Hmm. Don't tell me that's the pop. Don't you fuck. You can't expect me to go up here. This isn't even. No, that's bullshit. That's cl shut up, Mackenzie. That's right, that's clearly bullshit. Okay. Um. I don't know what to tell you. Map says that way. I'd go around the other way, I guess. Maybe there is a, another route from where the wolf cave was. Have to hope so, because there's no way I'm getting up that, even if I break all three of my ankles. See, I can't even get out of this. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Right. Yes, this will work perfectly. Whatever it is I'm trying to do. My clothes are going to be soaking wet. Yeah, get in there. Did I even bring stuff to start a fire if I need to? Uh, too late now if I didn't. Wait, so that is Wolf Cave. But you're telling me there's a... It's like there's a way around Wolf Cave. No, there isn't. Is that a way? Can I go in through there? Gonna have to hope so, because I'm not really seeing it this side that might be no nah. what the hell is that noise it sounded wolf like well it sounded a bit like a wolf it also sounded like the tired mario sound woo 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 i say tired i mean i think i mean the low health sound Which is a form of being tired. Okay. God damn it. I, this could not have been worse weather to try and do this shit in. Oh, there may even be a side route through here that... That was not at all obvious on the map. The best routes never are. I've somehow gone past it. I 
What? I think I would have done better without the map, to be perfectly honest. Ah, there you are, you fuck. You're not going to be worth it now after all this, are you? There you are. I could use this. Eh. I'm not... Hmm. I'm not going to swear loudly about that, but I'm still going to swear. That's how good that hall was, I think. Bollocks. Yeah, about that. At that volume, that level of annoyance. Okay, let's finally get the fuck out of here and start playing with dynamite. Excuse me, it's only snow, it shouldn't be an invisible wall. Did someone sit on the piano again? Oh, fun! Take me now, God. With a rock to the forehead, please. They point out this big old bridge. I assume it must be a big old bridge if it actually shows up on the map. Train tracks again? Or, well, not train, but mine carts, probably. Mmm, this looks stable. Especially in this weather. Fuck me, I could go right off there. And there, this is a health and safety nightmare. Mule bridge. I wouldn't want to risk trying to get a donkey across here. Gordon Bennett. I don't even know who that is. That's just a thing I've heard people say. In times of great duress. Perhaps he's a religious figure. Right, this looks like a sort of mine shafty kind of thing. Yeah, I get it, Blizzard. It's cold. You can pack it in now. Is it food or? Uh, well, one thing of it was don't try eating the fishing line. I know you're not the smartest tool in the shed. Neither am I, clearly, because I just said smartest tool in the shed. Makes it very difficult to criticise video game characters when you are objectively more stupid than them. Hiding here. No? Okay. What's that for? That's just like a wind measure, isn't it? There? Yeah, that was how we got into the last mine. Yes, to mine. Okay. To mine or not to mine? That is the question. Is it nobler to give the fuck up or uh, keep trying? Don't know. Have to ask Shakespeare. Um, I think we might. Uh, actually, I picked up all this coal thinking we'll need to start a fire. It's probably going to be quite warm in the mine. Warmer than out here, anyway. Oh. At least it's quieter. You didn't realise how fucking gaily that was. Okay. You still hear the bastard out there. Those detonators. This stuff will come in handy. Will it? Because uh, right now it only seems handy to be torn the fuck up. Well, at least that time let us warm up, so. Uh, you know what, I'm going to harvest that lantern as well, because not for the scrap metal, but for the fuel. Because I think this might end up being useful. This might be a extended period of needing the lantern. I didn't bring any more flares, did I? No, I'm definitely not going to waste the marine flare on uh, just lighting.
hunky fucky dory, right. Hmm. Oh good, we're doing that again. I love all that shit, me. Mackenzie's bored of it, seemingly. Seen it all before, haven't we? I've already got one of them. I've barely ever used it because the Aurora Boring Alice isn't uh, doing anything. I've got two of them, in fact. I've got more simple tools than I know what to do with. Oh, hello. Okay, that might be a thing. Look for clues to open the locked cache. Well, that could be a locked garage, for all I know. Okay, well, hopefully we come across that. Could be a lot of stuff in there. Okay, that's just a random bit of bit of wood. Aha, you look important. That's probably gonna ring at some point. If I had to guess. And I do. Okay, don't quite know where that would lead. I mean, back outside seemingly, but... Oh, that's really... that's it, isn't it? I thought there was a route down here, but there isn't. Hmm. Okay. Lift! Danger, come in. Feet are dredged. That's a new line. Uh, yes, your feet are drenched. They're 65% drenched, which some might argue doesn't qualify for being drenched, but do you think maybe 70, 80% is drenched? Where do we all stand on that? Can we agree that it goes soaking and then drenched? Drenched is like your 90%, like 90 to 100. Is there anything higher than drenched? Drowned, I suppose. My feet are drowned. It's important to establish a tier list of these things, of words. Like, scorching is hotter than boiling, you know? I don't know. Maybe nobody's coming with me on this, but... Makes sense to my adult brain, so... Speaking of which, I've kind of uh, stopped paying attention to which direction I'm going. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Floor 1. Uh, lift. Danger. Authorised lift only. I could find the fucking lift. Why do I keep picking up coal? What's wrong with me? I'm like an inverse Santa. Oh, you're doing the spooky violins again. Well, I don't think there's going to be anything living down here. So, not too frightened. Maybe an onyx. Really? I'm starting to think this is a wind up. The lift doesn't actually exist. Hmm. Still not convinced. <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? I gotta find bolt cutters again. Are they just next to it? Please say they're just here. <sighs> All the way back. You know what? If we're going here eventually anyway. T 
Didn't even know I was carrying those around. There we go. That's basically all our firewood dropped. Um, I'm sure there's something else pointlessly heavy we can drop. We don't need two of them for a start. It's probably a bit better, hopefully. All the fuck in my back. Keep an eye out for bolt cutters. So yeah, like I was saying, um, scorching is above boiling. Is scorching above sweltering? Hmm, I'm not sure about that actually. I think sweltering might be on par with scorching, but sweltering is... It implies a certain sweatiness, so if you've been scorching for some time, you can then say you are also sweltering. That's how I would perceive that. And then in terms of fatigue, you can be... Exhausted always feels like the the end point, doesn't it? Like, but the, I also feel like there should be more than you can be more than exhausted. Water, freezing. Really, that's interesting. Um, at least it's not fucking electrified. It's also pointless that I did that. Uh, so yeah, like these are very. Uh, uh, what's, what's the term? Anglo-centric? But uh, basically, Brit lingo, um, Brit bongs, we have knackered, which is, you know, significant. Uh, there's a certain jovial nature to it, but at the same time, if someone says they're knackered, then, you know, they're, they're, they're not uh, fibbing. They are sufficiently tired and, and may require rest. If someone says they're shattered, um, despite whatever puerile directions you might want to take that in, that could be on par or more than knackered? I don't know. Are you more tired if you're shattered or knackered? Perhaps that jovial quality to knackered, by virtue of having the word knacker in it, um, might put it lesser. Shattered sounds slightly more serious, like... Knackered is broken. Shattered is in pieces. I think you're more tired if you're actively falling apart. As opposed to just being broken. Elevator crank! Oh, I didn't know I needed that, but I guess I do. I need the bolt cutters first, though. We finally reached the mine and found the supply cache. If that last transmission was right, this could be what I've been looking for all along. All my life. We know that 18 was the last number in the padlock combination. Now I just have to find the other two. There must be more clues left behind. There's a creeping darkness in here. I hate it, but I have to go deeper. I don't think there is. I don't think that the length of time I spend in here is going to have any real effect on me. I think you're talking bollocks for the sake of it. Also, a lot more coal. Um, I guess we should have some grub. We have also got a small... I, do anything for a drink right now. I don't quite know what happened with the lantern there. It just swung a bit more than usual, but it looked like something attacking me during the menu. And that scared the shite out of me, so thanks for that game. Um, have an energy bar. Yeah, it fucking did it again. It's when he eats something. He puts it away and then... 
Yeah, it looks like something just coming towards me. Um, okay, I guess we've got a fire barrel here if we need it, but I don't think we will. We've got a small amount of meat to cook, but... Mine safety notice. Warning, it's a mine shaft. You might fall down it and die. Due to recent funding shortfalls, we've had to make people aware of the long falls. Haha. <laughs> We've had to carry out additional blasting on level 2 sooner than expected. We're aware this may impact air quality containment controls on lower levels. We only ask that you follow posted guidelines when working in areas of the facility that may be impacted by any noxious vapours. We've doubled the budgie budget. Damn it, that would have been good if it was actually budgies, wouldn't it? It's fucking canaries, isn't it? Canary in a coal mine. The... Canary cost. No, it doesn't work. The moment's gone. Leave it. Move on. Let it go. I think, I need to lay down. I think you need to shut up. Right. <laughs> of course, of course, I don't have a, men uh, a map for this place. Don't have a menu for this place. Yeah. There's a waiter. If I can just get the lift working. A dumb waiter. Haha, <laughs> haha. Because that's a kind of lip. Never mind. The moment's gone. Leave it. It's over. So I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I also can't tell where to go in the game. Come on, you just had an energy bar, Mackenzie. Get it together. Oh, you're tired, are you? Tell me that again when you're knackered, and then maybe I'll take you seriously. I did... Mm. I don't really understand. Find the, You're still just saying find the detonators. Okay, thanks for the specificity there. I don't suppose I can break that chain on the gate with a crank. That doesn't make any sense. And yet I think that is the direction I'm heading. Lampshading your own stupidity doesn't make it not stupidity. But I'm more than halfway there now. And honestly, I'm probably going to sleep because Mackenzie's having a. going to throw a wobbly otherwise. Locked. Yep, still locked. Did I pick up any more coal? I don't think I did. Drop some of those, I guess. Pick it all up at the end. Why are you walking about in the dark? I don't know. I just want to see how far I can get. like I don't even need the lantern. I've got night vision eyes. Kind of. Okay, I might be getting a bit lost now. Time to sleep. Uh, start again tomorrow. I know there's nothing there. You can quit with the violins. They're just practicing at this point. Doing a medley of their greatest hits. From shivery, sinister violins to somber, melancholy, drawn out stuff. 
And that's it. That's the two hits they have. They've never, despite I think me specifically asking in prior parts, they've never uh, ramped it up into a Celtic jig. Which is a shame. That would have uh, spiced things up a little. I saw a video of a guy playing a bass guitar with a violin bow yesterday. And it worked as well. That's the kind of stuff that YouTube's for. Or it used to be. I don't know what it's for anymore, to be quite honest. But Desperately trying to... Uh, not get outdone by TikTok, seemingly. Okay, let's return to this with our brains somewhat working. Did I even check these? I did, without thinking about it. There's that, which I can't do anything with. There's that, which I can't do anything with. And there's this dead end. Okay. Did I even see if I can open this? Well, aren't I a dumb cunt? Apologies. Um, also, I guess I'm just gonna die? Because they said noxious gases, so... I haven't found a gas mask or anything. Alright, fuck it, let's find out. Sounds safe. Crank it, Mackenzie. Pretty sure that was the arm you had the... or the hand you had the lantern in, so I don't know where that's gone. I'm either balancing it on my head or I've stuck it up my arse. Probably the former, because we, as, as we all know, that that is where the sun does not shine, so it can't be up my arse. Okay. Am I going to get a noxious gas meter? There probably has to be some kind of indication, even if it's only Mackenzie coughing. And even when that does happen, I don't quite know what I'm to do about it besides hurry. Okay, so down there. Well, let's check here first in case there is some kind of mask or mask, depending on how far north you are. He's wearing his gas mask in the bath again. Is that a workbench? No, it's just a metal table that looks like a workbench. If it hasn't got a vice grip thingy on it, then it's not a workbench, as everyone knows. Okay, so you just fucking deal with it, I guess. Oh, okay, it's vi Fresh air in here. It's visible as well, down there. Can I pick that up? Yes. 23 seconds. Oh, good, it actually tells me. Wonderful. If I go... Right. Suffocation risk. Good. I like it when it's... Despite that really never being the case, I think, in real life, uh, I appreciate the cartoonish green deathy fart gas, so I can see it. Still don't quite know what to do about it. If I empty the maple syrup, can I fit that jug over my head and make a sort of makeshift scuba thing? I've got a balaclava on. Does that help at all? Probably not. Oh, hey, my boots are dry. Okay. 23 seconds again. I... Oh, okay, I do need the lantern. Okay, well, fine. 
learn that pretty quick. Right, try it again. Quickly, quickly. Uh, I have to really hope there's going to be like a pocket of air somewhere down here or I'm super fucked. Oh, attach handle. Yes, let's do that. Could I have done that on the other one? I feel like perhaps I should have. Won't be able to move that again. Will I not? You're right, I can't. Okay. So that was my one go of it. I guess I'm glad I did it here then, rather than right at the start, because that would have been a waste. Fucking... everything's locked down here. Okay, uh, so run through, hope you find another bit of metal like that. A lot of this is based on luck, I'm noticing. Oh well, so be it. No. Nope. Oh, so it is. That's incredibly lucky. Didn't seem to do them any good, but... Freezing. Oh. oh. I worry more about the poisonous gas than the cold water on your toes. Aren't I wearing, like, steel toe cap boots or something? How are you even... Doesn't matter. Oh, I thought I was out of it. I'm not. Shit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fuck. Oh, piss and shit. I might actually die. No, 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 no. Come on. Give me some... No, okay. Well. You died from suffocation. No breathing. Don't give a fuck when your last save was... Oh. Yeah, because I didn't save after I did the annoying. So let me just check here. I could attach it there, but that would be somewhat pointless, as we sort of said. I wonder if I can run so far as that air pocket and save the handle for... But we didn't see a third one of those, did we? Or did we? I know that you can't respond, so I guess I will say we didn't. Because I think there's no one in the chat, so <laughs> that's what I meant by that. But Won't be able to move that again. Nope. There was a third, uh, there was a second metal handle thing by the dead person. But we have yet to figure out how to get there. I assume it was at the end of the long corridor in which I died, but... Didn't make it far enough. An air pocket. <sighs> okay, so we need to be able to move as quickly as possible. You gonna drop anything? I don't know. I see I'd drop that, but obviously I'm using the lantern, so it seems a bit I guess I could drop those. Probably won't need those. Drop some of that. Just remember remember to pick it all up again. Hopefully I can come back this way, otherwise I'm really fucking myself doing this. Okay, technically not over encumbered now. Uh, don't forget these things. Okay, take a deep breath. Three, two, one, go. No, you stop talking. <laughs> I said three, two, one, deep breath, and immediately you start opening your mouth to. 
complain about your fucking toes. Damn it, out of stamina. This is where it gets tricky. I'm glad this isn't flammable gas, thinking about it with my lantern and everything. Actually, I don't know if it is. The lantern's kind of closed off, but... Uh, the, um... If I lit a match, things could go badly. You're very dead. Ah, useful. Excellent. Also useful. That's just blank. The gas, my god, there's some kind light system rigged up to deliver one of the numbers for the padlock. Okay, I have to find a way to reach the right spot on the second floor so I can see it and decipher the number from the flashing light. The others went on without me, just need to rest here a while. Next. Really? I didn't think it'd be that involved, figuring out the padlock thing. So I've got to get to the second floor and be able to see a flashing light number. Right, okay, if you say so. Hang on, if I close this, is this going to pollute where I am? Yes, it is, but maybe it's unpolluted over there? Hang on, let's think about this a second. I mean, it's... Yeah, maybe the point is that I just take it and not attach it. Let's try that. I'm not seeing any offshoots from this direction, so I don't think the way forward is here. Okay, quickly. Good. Is that what it looks like to be suffocating? Yeah, vision goes all like foggy. Apparently so. Uh, maybe it's something in that direction. Let's pick all this up again before we forget it. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You can't. It's all vital. Oh shit! Don't tell me they're clipped into the fucking thing. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Right, yeah, there it is, clearly. <sighs> nope, this is all dead end, okay. Okay, back in, back in good. Oh, it's probably through here, isn't it? This has to be the way. Yes, by sheer, uh, by sheer law of averages, it does have to be the way. Yeah. I feel like you never complained about cold water in the other mine. I suppose most of the time that was electrified, so I can. See how you wouldn't have time, but anyway, not the point. Don't make me crawl through here for fuck's sake. Voila. Nope, it's still going down. Okay, put the thing on. And that one's... that's fucked now. Can't take that off. Okay. Oh no, I can. Okay. Why did he say that about the first one then? Is that just a weird one? Okay. Wheelbarrow? Really? Okay. This is another risky one because uh, I don't know where I'm going to find another air pocket and or bit of metal. Cranky thing. Oh well, fuck it. It ain't here. Could have been, but it ain't. And it ain't there. And there ain't no pocket. Nothing. I'm fucked. Super fucked. Dead. 
Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm a die. I'm gonna die. Fuck that up. Should have taken the thing with me. Damn it! And I didn't even save. I knew I should have saved. Fuck's sake. <sighs> That's a pain in the bollock. So I'm back here. Oh, and that's before I even got... Hang on. There's got to be like an autosave that was sooner. 18 minutes ago. That doesn't sound sooner, does it? Fine. We'll do it again. Shut up about your feet. No one cares. Right, give me your key. Thank you. Do I actually have to read that thing for it to uh, trigger something? Possibly. Let me just check that again. Light system rigged up to deliver one of the numbers. I have to find a way to reach the right spot on the second floor so I can see it and decipher the number. So that last elevator that we died near uh, is presumably going to go up rather than down. Well, hopefully. Otherwise, it just prolongs this whole shenanigans affair, doesn't it? You're not soaked. We discussed this. You can't be soaked from that. That's not even... That doesn't even register. That's... At least you didn't, you didn't say drenched, but I mean, you're not soaked either. I don't even think you could be damp from that. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Well, I am. So, shut the fuck up and carry it. Or at least pick it up would be nice. Thank you. Right, let's get to the next patch of safe. Which is about here. This has to be the way. Cool. Cool. Really? I never would have guessed. It's not like you told me that already. Okay. Get it? Because that's the thing people say. Do, the, do people even say that anymore? I feel like in Britain they probably don't say hold the lift. They just go, oh, it's closed. I'll get the next one. Or maybe that's just me. If I'm more defeatist than the average British person, then... Dunno, do I take pride in that? I feel like I do take a bit of pride in that. But I probably shouldn't. Hooray. I assume that immediately refills like my unseen air meter. Because obviously it's unseen, so I don't really have a granola bar for a, as a reward. Mmm, that was not worth it. Okay. Take it and run. Dun 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 God damn it, this is quite a wait. Quickly. Phew. Lucky that air kicks in really quick. I don't know exactly where it's coming from. Oh, there, I guess. I feel like it'd take a bit longer than that, but I'm glad it doesn't. So, are you saying I have to do an entire elevator bit while suffocating? That seems troublesome. 
I guess take that with me. We might need it immediately when we get to the bottom. God damn it. Keep saving. Because this is quite a... I was going to say tempestuous. I don't think that's the word. Tumultuous? God, I get all my T words mixed up, don't I? It's a bit of a fucky bit, isn't it? No, not that. We can't have it just called Story 1. God damn it, we have to keep some semblance of a through line. <sighs> Fucking hell. Um, that's not at all what's happening, but, you know. Don't think about it too much. It's a stream of consciousness. Oh, so this one is a permanent one for some reason. Why are some permanent and some aren't? If I close it, can I take it? No. Okay. That one's just stuck there then. Fine. Whatever you say. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hurry, 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 hurry faster than that. Oh, I see, you put the lantern down by your feet. Okay, they did account for that, well done. Go up, crank it, faster, faster. Thank fuck for that. That could have been bad. Oh, hang on. I didn't know you went that far up. Get, no, no, I need to stop here then. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope I didn't leave anything down there. Right, now, where's this... Shut up. Where's this bollocks about the fucking neon bingo light or whatever I have to look at? I feel like a giant slot machine is going to stand out down here. <laughs> Locked. Brilliant. Okay, not quite here then. Someone left some trousers. That'll come in handy. Sure will. Maybe. Jerky socks. Jerky in your sock. Don't do that. That's, you're better than that. No, I'm not. Don't tell me what jokes I'm above. Be good to drink. Cool. Weird things to have down the middle of a mine, but I won't hold it against you. It's starting to weigh me down. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Detonators. Oh, well, the convicts will be happy, if nothing else. That's what I'm looking for. Nice that they labelled it and everything. Leave the mine. Well, no, not until I figure out the fucking number puzzle. Which I hoped I would have run into by now, but... Something... I don't know, like... I kept saying I thought it would be obvious, but... 
Apparently not. This is the second floor. They said you can see a number from the second floor. X marks the something. Hello, you're dead. And pointless. Aha! Good. Oh, okay, the camera actually moves me. What? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm glad you seem to get it, Mackenzie, because I don't. Why does standing here do that? What kind of fucking... Rube Goldberg... fucking Monopoly Circus is this? Well, I, I was getting this out so I could look a bit better, but now it's... Uh, Okay, good. What number is that? I can't see shit. I don't, hmm. It's, I wonder if it's the number of flashes. I don't think that's what the note said, but I can't be certain. Light system rigged up to deliver one of the numbers for the padlock. Right spot on the second floor so I can see it and decipher the number from the flashing light. Okay, so you've worded it as vaguely as possible. Oh, hello. Uh, Mehmet. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. You have the misfortune of joining us in trying to work out a puzzle, which I'm famously good at. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, uh, and I can't see. There's like a red mark on the wall, but I don't think it's a t intelligible or a legible number, as best I can s tell. So, we'll go with seven. Remember seven, I guess. Oh, I can open that now. Smashing. Is that actually a way down? Oh, there is a way down there. Hmm. Unfortunately, we are uh, overburdened as fuck with stuff. Hmm. Okay, well, let's sleep on it. Think about it in the morning. Okay, um, still not moving fast enough, really. But we'll deal with it. We can refill the lantern, that might help. So, seven was one of the numbers. Uh, they also said... We had some note about that, not those notes, ignore that. Um, due to recent... nope, ain't that one. 
They said they had the first two numbers, didn't they? That's it. Finding which moment we know that 18 was the last number in the padlock. Um, of the other two. So there are two. It's a four number lock. Okay. So it's 7 and 18 we've got, and then we need one more number, which suggests. Well, it might be down there, but then the elevator could also go up further, couldn't it? So. Okay, well, let's explore down here since we're here. I'm sure there's a way back up from this fatal mine shaft. I mean, that guy clearly found his way back up. Dropped your bottle of water. Aha! High explosives, toxic gas, bottomless pits, a fool's errand, but we did decipher the final part of the padlock combination. They marked the signs leading to the elevator. Clever. Now to get the hell out of here. Hope I don't swoops. Finally. Kind of amazing you didn't fall all the way down, really. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's death. Or at least a broken wrist. So the markings leading to the elevator. Don't remember seeing any markings, but we will give it another look. Now we're informed. Seven eighteen. Why do you keep picking up coal? Because I have a problem. So, no, not that way. Back through here. Markings. Yeah, there's all the exit and elevator signs, but... I didn't see any markings that could be... Ah, okay, that's a marking. Not the T. Oh, this is not Roman numeral shit, is it? Fuck, I'm terrible at this. Even though the escape room that I did a, a while ago had this involved, I should have learned. Okay, so the E is, that's not a Roman numeral. Uh, XI, that's 11? No, or is it 9? God, you know, I think it was this exact one in the escape room that got me confused as well. It's either 9 or 11. You know what, I'll subtly Google it when we get back to the padlock. No one will notice. Maximum three people. I probably weigh enough for two people, so... That's fine. Because X is ten, right? That's what I've always... Yes, it definitely is. So it has to be 11. If it was IX, it would be 9. But XI must be 11. But then there's also that. Hang on, how many of these were there? Did I miss it? I don't think I did. Shit. You're so not up to your ankles. I mean, if I could see your ankles, maybe I could gauge it better, but you're definitely not up to your ankles. Okay, so 11 and 5. So, do I add them together? 16? Like, what is... Hmm. Okay, 11, 5, 7, 18. Remember all that, somehow. 11, 5, 
Don't even need the bolt cutters now. Well, I do to get out, but. Yeah. And there's all my stuff, of which I can drop more now, and then pick it all up later. Good. As long as I can pick it all up again. Right. Eleven five. 7, 18. 18 was the last one. Calm down with that shit. I hope I didn't miss one in that last bit. I could have done a more thorough check, but... Hopefully that was all. Those are getting more pronounced. I'm going to have worked it all out and then there'll just be a landslide right before I reach it. It's clearly not everywhere, is it? I didn't remember where it was now. Um. Well, if you're still juddering shit, I must feel like it's this way. Take scripted events as directions, kids. nothing that me being here is meant to, you know, nothing I'm meant to look at from there. I don't think. But there's also nothing here, so... Eleven, five, seven, eighteen. Yeah, still got it. I guess it's towards the exit, then. your own time, Mackenzie. I don't want to, like, leave and the whole place collapses and then, you know, we're stuck away from it. I feel like this is probably an area you can't revisit. Don't do it, game. I'm only looking for the padlock. It can't be this way. It's got to be back the... I don't even remember seeing the padlock, if I'm totally honest. But that could just be my memory. Yes, it is. We will scrape what remaining brain cells we have together and form a plan. No, that might be asking a bit much. We'll form a sentence. How does that sound? This is where I came from. Is this where I came from? This better not be where I came from. 
is where I came from. Okay, take a breather, Mackenzie, and by a breather I mean breathe into this maple syrup. Oh shit, nearly lost it there. Eleven seven No, eleven five seven eighteen. Not necessarily in that order, but eighteen is last. And we're not sure on the relevance of um eleven and five because I don't think there's that many numbers in the whole thing. So it has to be here. It's just to be where I came from the first time. But that's also the elevator. Everywhere's an elevator. Metaphorically. Okay, yeah, I'm officially fucking blind or lost, or both, potentially. Must be towards the exit then. I just can't remember seeing... No, we definitely did, because it wasn't... I can't remember seeing the padlock, but there was the whole massive cache that I said was like a garage. I just for some reason can't find the way back there from here. It ain't there and it ain't there, so... Where it be? Maybe that was the way I first came in here. Damn it. Up to my ankles. Seems like it was actually, using what little memory I have left. Walk backwards, retrace your steps, but go backwards. Yes. Oh, well, now what does that mean? That's also 11. Is that just a reminder? Or is it two 11s? And a 5. And a 7. Oh, not now, fucking Molly Jace, whoever the fuck you are. You're going to say a bunch of shit and I'm not going to... No, I need to think... No, shut up. I need to think about this. No, fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, i got to do this first. This is more important than whatever you have to say. Okay. Oh, that's going to be ringing in the fucking background now. Sorry about that. But I will forget if I listen to her whole thing. Hang on, did I even need the numbers? If it was one of these, I could have just bullshitted it, couldn't I? As I've done many a time before. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> have I just wasted more time? Yeah, feel like I have. In fact, why didn't any of the forest talkers just bullshit it like this? It's super easy, all it takes is time. Because in real life, obviously, they don't have a little thing at the side that shows you when one's clicked. So I didn't need to remember any of that. Fuck me, backwards and sideways. <sighs> a riddle. Well, it wasn't really a riddle, was it? Because I could brute force it the whole time. Fuck's sake. I'm aware I've been... Sh shut up, Mackenzie. I'm aware I've just been in the foulest mood for this entire stream. Um, I can only apologise. I can't improve. I can just apologise. Sheet of paper. Water stained but crisply folded, if you say so. Uh, we built out a way station of sorts in an old mine in the shadow of Black Rock Mountain. It's not far from the penitentiary, so we figure it'll sit undisturbed as a stockpile. There's a powerful energy to the place that I can't quite describe. Hmm. But then you are hippy-dippy people, aren't you? I feel renewed each time I visit. Okay. Could be the noxious gas. 
Our other hope is that since the mine is more modern than many of the other workings on Great Bear, we'll be able to scrounge some valuable gear there too. Maybe even more high explosives. We've got to cut them off from the mainland. Resilience is the only way forward for us. Dependence on mainland support will only mean more ecological devastation. The time for half measures is over. Uh, it just makes me, reminds me of how much I need a drink, to be honest. But there we are. I'm going to steal all your peaches. wonder if this is any good to eat. Probably not, but eat it anyway. <gasps> Finally! We've been without a saucepan for so long. I'm so sick of cooking things in those tiny little... Uh, 50 milliliter cans. Ah, well, it wasn't... S Maybe it was all worthwhile for the saucepan. Let's try and... It wasn't at all. But let's pretend it was. For the sake of a... You know, conclusive, satisfying narrative. Right, what the fuck do you want? This is going to annoy me, isn't it, this conversation? So we'll have it in the dark. In your own kind of dumb way. Change much. Math has found dynamite, and soon, thanks to me, he'll have detonators too. He plans to blast through to solitary and get Donner out that way. Shit! Time for the nuclear option. But I thought you said you didn't have. A... Relax, Mac. Figure of speech, right? What are you gonna do? Right. Go drop a nuke. What did you say? Oh, I forgot. I literally forgot all about that. Atwood. No, no, after that. Oh, right. Just my thesis advisor. She's the only reason I'm out here at all, Mackenzie. I'm a grad student, astrophysics. So? So? It just so happens that this part of Great Bear offers one of the best unoccluded zones. Ideal for setting up certain sensitive instruments for my research so that... I have to see her. You have to see my thesis advisor. You aren't making any sense, Mackenzie. Yeah, you could have explained this a lot better. Will it though? We need to get out of here and get to Actually, given how long the last phone call was, maybe it will. Oh, okay. How do you know about her? A crazy old trapper man Matt told me. And Donner. If they make it out, there's a good chance they'll end up finding Atwood. Can we just blow them and all up? A big part of what I'm trying to prevent. The warden's probably Where dead by she? now, so who cares? Oh, we all know where that is. Sounds fun. If the convicts find out about the radio telescope, it'll be bad. They'll be able to see all the radio stations from far away. Can you say something other than clicks? I don't know how far that is. It's been broken by the Aurora and everything that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. But what the hell is going on right now? Yes, pl I'm yeah. I'm not hundred percent sure. But astrophysically speaking, yeah. Weird stuff. Oh yeah, technical term. Suzuki is shielded due to the kind of work they do there. It's shielded from electromagnetic radiation. There's a good chance that all the shit that's been going on out here. That it hasn't been affected in the same way. Mm -hmm. Which means? It means Suzuki may be the key. So, how do we get out of here and stop Mathis and Donner at the same time? Um, not sure. Blow them up. But I have an idea. Just buy me some time. No, tell me the idea. Don't do... Both, don't do a fucking Jeremiah on me. Just tell me the plan. Even if you don't have it all worked out yet, just fucking... No? Okay, fine. God, I hate when people do that. Like, just fucking communicate. I might actually be able to help. Oh, someone left some matches. Yeah, well that's annoying. Not as annoying as it could have been, but still pretty annoying. I hope I get to blow Mathis up. That is, that is what I'm hoping for. So really, I have to leave the way I came. That I would. That was not in the best spot. Oh shit! 
Oh no, probably something else is going to happen now. Well, you did tease that happening for long enough. Probably broke my lantern. If, you know, not my head and neck and everything else. And there's no going back that way. Oh, but all the electronics are now working. Okay, well, at least I won't have to go back that way. What was this way? I don't think I ever checked here because there's a bit of stray cloth on the floor. And coal. Stop picking up coal. No. Okay, we're back to literal electric boogaloo, are we? We're going to have to be dodging the cables again. Just when I thought I got out, they rock slide me back in. I don't know what new will have happened. I guess new areas could have opened with the rock slide, but I don't know what having the electricity functioning helps with. Oh, that way. That makes sense. That's what that was. Okay, so we are leaving the mine just a slightly different way. Gonna be straight into a bear cave, if I had to guess. Or a moose cave. Yes. Those things. Look at all this coal. What is wrong with me? Several things, but apparently coal hoarding is one of them. Okay, so... Oh, great. I just realised we might get an irradiated moose attack. That would be good. That's... Or an irradiated anything attack will fuck us up, but you know. It ain't gonna be good, is what I'm saying. I think the problem is that I haven't needed to use any of the firewood because I'm not cold enough. And thus, uh, that is now what is slowing me down. Yeah, no, this is bullshit. you got to drop some of this. Wait, what? It's not even firewood that's uh, weighing me down now. What is it that I'm carrying then? I guess I don't need two of them. Oh, we did pick up a few things like that, I guess. Oh, really? We picked up a whole nother set of those. I guess they would weigh us down. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that. It's definitely something other than the clothing, though. Not the food. Could be something here. All this fuel might be doing it. Oh, shit. Fuck, where did I drop all that stuff and I never picked it up? Oh, fuck. Exactly what I said I was afraid of doing. Oh, my God, that was... That was all my marine flares. That was all my normal flares. That was a bunch of noisemakers. Oh, fiddlesticks. You know what? Okay. <laughs> Let's fucking call it there. 
Um, I will try and sort this shit out. I don't, the thing is, I don't even know where I am. Like, I don't... Here. Am I, oh, okay, I'm going around fucking Pride Rock or some shit. Just give me a cave or something. That ain't a cave. I can't believe I did that. I can't... I can't believe my memory was so bad that I forgot where I put them. Stuff as well. And those marine flares. Those are like the most useful thing. So I'm just super fucked if any timber wolves or anything come. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is yeah, go on, break your ankle on top of everything else. What a nightmare. At least refill the fucking lantern. Why have I got two lanterns? I don't remember. Fuck it. I've got eight litres, eight and a half litres of fuel. That is way too much. Nobody needs that much. I've got dynamite now. Maybe that's how I'm going to set shit alight, I don't know. I want to at least figure out where I am, because if, if I stop the stream now, I'll blunder into some kind of set piece. Off stream. And that's no good because that's missing out on content and we've already had some very anticlimactic wolf based content in this one alone, so. Also, as soon as I stop streaming I have to return to my actual life, so. Fuck that too. Steady on. Don't have a hernia. I've also got more water than I started with. Oh, because I kept picking up bottled water. I guess that makes sense. Mmm, cold rusty peaches. Don't ever say that to a lady. She won't find it funny. But if she does, she's a keeper. And you can ask her about her work. Goalkeeping. Well, at least we'll die with a nice cup of tea. Many cups of tea. Blood red tea, but you know. Still counts, apparently. I'm pretty sure I just picked those up. All these berries are weighing me down. Don't actually probably even need the lantern on with the uh, whole... Oh, it was the sort of... Oh, the green bit was over there. Okay. Well, even so, probably bright enough without it. If anything, this is making it harder to see, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that's almost easier. That's strange. Oh, my torch should be working, though. Yeah, that, that works a bit better, I guess. More uh, long range light. Are we back anywhere I might recognise yet? No. I have to hope this is some like severe shortcut that gets me back to the prison very easily. What is that? 
It could just be a rock, or it could be something else. I really can't tell. I think it's a street sign. And that might be a cave. Climbing. You reckon? Well, I'm not in the mood for climbing. I'm in the mood for... Caving. Caving in. As was this chap, apparently. You took caving a bit too far, didn't you? This will come in handy. Overdosed on matches and torches. Yeah, it's very roomy, isn't it? It's uh, nice high ceilings. Victorian era. Might might paint the walls, you know. Add a bit of colour to the place. Is it is it double glazed? No, okay. That's fine. Does have complimentary fizzy drink though. Well, okay, I guess we're here then. And this is where we'll be. More or less. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That felt like an absolute shit show of an episode, but we did technically make progress. However blind, stumbling, and backwards it was for a lot of it. Uh, cheers for watching, whoever did. Um, hopefully next time we won't have been bitten by an irradiated moose. Then we really will be like Spider Moose, or Moose Man. Yeah, spiders wouldn't come into it at that point. Anyway, cheerio.